welcome to the very first episode of our podcast, podcast episode slash YouTube, right? I don't know. Because we don't know yet if it's oh, going to be on any podcast, just a YouTube cast, I guess you could say. I'm going to get us on Spotify. Yeah, we'll see how this first one does. Yeah. So here we are. Um, this is something new to us. We've been wanting to do this for quite some time. <coughs> so let's go ahead and just get started. Uh, what is your name, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him, by the way. He just came over. I'm just here to take care of her kids, pay the bills, and that's it. Oh, my God. So, yeah, we'll start with introductions. Well, not introductions. Maybe, I mean, most of you probably know us. Some of you maybe don't. We hope we have a new audience. If, you're, if you've been here since our first uh, YouTube video, thank you. We appreciate it. We're, we're getting there. We're trying to grow our numbers. Um, yeah, so if you don't know me, my name's Wayne uh, Martin Jr., I should have did that in autumn, huh? Yeah. I don't even know. I don't remember. I used to know. It's been some time. It's been some years. It's been some years since speaking of them. But yeah, Wayne. Um, oh, I say yeah, they. And your full name, Miss? My name is Rolanda Antone. She's my baby mama. <laughs> One and only. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Whatever. All right, yeah, so let's get this started. Um, we're, this first episode, we're going to kind of just talk about ourselves not being conceited or anything like that, but just kind of, you know, give us a rundown of us, who we are, not who we are, but where we come from. Um, just a little background about us, just in case you don't know us. Some people that watch us may know us personally, may only know us from social media, so we're going to kind of go through that and, and, yeah. Yeah. We don't really have a topic set. I think this is our first kind of topic. It's just to introductions, and then we'll go from here. Yeah, as of yet. Um, but, you know, we'll get more into it as we go along and get more episodes. And um, if you did see the trial, the first oh last yeah. video we did put up, <laughs> I had my mask on, and I was feeling sick. So right oh yeah. now I feel much better. A lot better. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, miss. That's what she said. I don't know how. Let me just hold it like this, I guess. We got we got stands coming, but uh, I think they're both supposed to be here tomorrow, right? Yeah, we had ordered on <coughs> Amazon, and um, we're just, you know, we're too excited. We're too excited to wait we want to get into it right away so yep. that's our link what does do right now all right so give us a rundown of where you're from where did you where, where were you born and raised as far as i remember yeah. <laughs> so much as you remember um let's say i was born here in tucson mm -hmm. but you know ultimately probably from when newborn to I don't know. I'm going to say like four or three. Um, Gaga. If you don't know where Gaga is, way out middle of nowhere, super far. Um, but yeah, that's where I was, where I grew up most of my life. And then <clears throat> probably four, three, three, four, five, six. I remember we lived up north um if you don't know i am part donna and part navajo so who's the navajo my mom is oh. and where's she from my mom's navajo she's from delcon arizona mm. so yate yate <laughs> delcon <laughs> delcon shout in the house shout out delcon <laughs> um and your dad's the autumn my dad's the, the autumn the full autumn mm -hmm. autumn yeah so you grew up, you spent some time up there? Yeah, I remember living there. Um, I never went to school up there, but I do remember my younger years were out there. With, it was, it was, it wasn't on like the reservation on, on the res, we call it, mm -hmm. but it was um, in Holbrook. Okay. Like South Holbrook on the outskirts, 
outskirts of Hobrook. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, um, we moved back to Tucson. We're there for a while. I remember it was just me and my sister. And then going into Tucson, um, my brother was born. And I remember I was going to school. I was probably, I went to school in Santa Vera. Oh, you did? Yeah, for I a little bit. <laughs> I thought you were uh, Santa Rosa. No. Primary, no? For, I mean, for a little bit, yeah. Oh, okay. But um, I did go to San Javier, um Catholic school. I remember it was, it was, yeah, it was crazy. And, and I was probably like in, I don't know, f- kindergarten or first grade. Yeah. And <coughs> I don't know how, how it is now, but when I was there, um, I w- used to get in trouble. Did they beat you? No, but they did punish me. How? I went to detention. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Did they smack you or nothing? I feel like I have a, a memory of them smacking me with a ruler on my hand, mm. but I could be just making that up in my hand. Oh, okay. So, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> they probably um, knocked you out. You probably don't remember. <laughs> probably. Um, but yeah, I remember I was like a kid and I remember these older students would be like, why do you give her detention? She's just in kindergarten or first grade. Yeah. And I'll be like every day because my mom or my dad, they would bring me to school late. And oh, so that's where it started from. Yeah. So if you don't know, well, you probably don't know, but she's like time wise, she's always <laughs> late or. It's so true. It's, it's, a, it's not bad, but it's just. It could get, get bad. It could get bad. Like we got to be somewhere in. So but the thing with her is like, say, say we got to be ready. Say we got to be somewhere at two and like it's 12 and they mm-hmm. could tell her to get ready. And she'll ask, how much time do I have? And I'll tell her you got two hours. Yeah. And she'll just kind of proca- procrastinate for the first hour. And then the last hour she'll be like, okay, how much time do I have? And then she'll go do a little bit of things. And then not she won't actually jump into gear and get ready until there's like 30 minutes left or so, which is kind of annoying just because. Like, I'm ready two hours ahead and just sitting there and we got to wait on her. But that's where it came from. Yeah. Uh-huh. So. I get it. That's where it originated. Mm. And so you went to there and then where'd you go to? When when did you spend time at um, Santa Rosa? Um, I believe I was in third grade mm. starting. No, second grade. Yeah. And that's when we moved. Uh, from Tucson out to Gatka, and we lived with my grandma. Mm. And I started my days at Santa Rosa, okay. the boarding school. I wasn't I wasn't actually staying at the boarding school. Yeah. I would stay in Gatka, but take the bus. So how early would you have to get up from get from Gatka to Santa Rosa? Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't like too early. Probably like I'm gonna say seven. Oh, well, it's not bad. Yeah. Huh. It didn't start getting, like, way early until, like, high school. Okay. And then middle school, you went? Uh, middle school, I was also, let, let's let just say K through, I mean, um, second through. Middle school. Um, Eighth grade. Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> and then high school was? High school, um, I went to Teal, mm. freshman and sophomore year. Um, I was there. Uh, and then sophomore year, after my sophomore year, going into my junior year, I went to Choya High School. So, and then I was staying out here in Tucson mm-hmm. with um, my uncle. So how how big of a difference was it from, say, Choya and then Tio? What was the big difference? Well, obviously, the, you know, the, the population, student population, mm-hmm. there was actually, like, more class Mm-hmm. obviously the diversity yeah yeah okay. but it's funny because i really wanted that so bad like to be i don't know different yeah like go somewhere else and like oh, i don't want to be here anymore where Toya? no at, at Tio. Tio. Oh, okay yeah well i mean that's understandable kind yeah. of in a sense also i was like over it in a way Mm. so i would just wanted something different so 
I remember my sophomore year in high school, um, that summer, I went to a, a camp at the U of A. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of when, oh my God, I feel like. <laughs> mm. You need to go do that off, off camera? No. Real I fast? I can keep them entertained. I think I'm good. All right, then. <laughs> don't do that <laughs> anyway so back to what you were saying yeah so you went to <coughs> camp <coughs> university yeah it was like a week long camp mm. I don't remember like what it was for yeah but um that just kind of got me in the mindset like oh I I like this diversity I like mm. how different it is like I don't know kids and personalities and like different ways i guess mm-hmm. i don't know how to explain it but their ways are different from mine you know in a way yeah. like growing up it's not the same but like on the res you know we all kind of grew up the same yeah so oh, so where'd you graduate from i end up going back to teal welcome <laughs> um well, I didn't want to, but my uncle um, moved from Tucson to Three Points. Okay. And it was just too much of a drive to oh, go I from um, Three Points to, to Choya, back to school. So I went back to Teal, and that's where I graduated. For what, your senior year or junior year? Senior year. Okay. Graduated. Graduated from there? Yeah. Okay. And that's that. And that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you didn't notice, I keep looking like past the camera. It's just because the two, those two kids, no, the two are asleep in the back, and so my daughter every every now and then will get up and come out just because she hears us or she'll see the lights on, you know, or whatever. So just gotta keep peeking and see if she gets up or not. So if we happen to abruptly get up and go, it's just because she she's up. So. Well, that was interesting. Mm, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I was I was thinking of a question. So, do you think if you had would have um, stayed at Choya and graduated from Choya, you would have a like a I don't know a different out not outlook a different you would have taken a different path I guess not a different path. What about you? You have would have had a a more broader choice of opportunity meaning like because i feel like when like graduating from down there or even just like on the res i i feel like there's not that much i guess opportunity for kids to get exposure to like you said other you know ethnicities being the school being diverse and getting used to that Mm -hmm. and i feel like when kids just go to school on the res right they get used to just being there and so they don't go nowhere they don't do nothing they don't bother to go to college or you know get i don't want to say get out but leave yeah so do you think if you would have stayed at choya you would have maybe not i don't know like you would have maybe i don't know i would have ended up like like college or you would have d- did different something else yeah but it would have been somewhere else i guess in other words i definitely feel that way like if i were to have you know graduated from choya from like a public school mm-hmm. um i feel like i would have been given more opportunities Mm -hmm. and i feel like a thing with me i'm very hesitant to to new opportunities Mm -hmm. and it like scares me so a lot of the times new things they scare me and i feel like that's what kind of holds me back from doing new Mm -hmm. things I see. But I think it just also depends on the person. Like, if that's what they wanted to do, then they would have done it. You know, like if, even if they did graduate it from, from small school. Yeah. You know, like on the reservation, then they would have made the opportunity to get out or experience. Because I do know some, some gals that, you know, graduated from there too. And they're doing big things. 
Yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah. Because it depends on the person. Yeah. Um, I had another question I was going to ask you. Oh, what was... uh? So being in high school, you usually kind of where you're kind of deciding on what it is you want to do or want to be, I guess, when you grow up. Yeah. So what what was yeah. what was the thing in high school that you wanted to do after high school that you saw yourself doing after high school or pursuing? You know, I don't know. Mm. Honestly, I feel like even now, like what I want to do. True. Yeah. I guess that's true. And I, I never that. I never really had a plan. And I feel like a, a lot of the times in, in my high school days, I, my dad would ask me or I would talk to my dad about this, mm-hmm. this plan, these type of things. What I, where do I see myself? What I want to be doing? Mm-hmm. And it was nothing ever really set in stone. Like, okay, this is the plan. This is what I'm going to do to mm-hmm. get to that plan. And only because I was very not sure. I was unsure. Mm. So Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that's a little bit a brief history on Rolanda. Unless you want to talk about your work, where you work right now or not? Not. Your work history? No. No. Okay. I'm this week. I'm just like <laughs> as Friday. Oh, I'm yeah, doing are, my work. Yeah, we are uh no um, doing this on, on a Friday. So um fuck sorry i think it's okay all right okay so how about you what's what's your story where'd you grow up little wayne <laughs> oh, we'd be called little wayne little wayne Mm-mm. okay i'm just kidding jr she <laughs> only family calls me jr i am family no you're my <laughs> baby mama no sorry right, so i went to school at so I live mainly in Artesia. If you don't know where Artesia's at, it's what southeast of Sales. So that's where my family was from, my mom's family is from. Um lived there but we also had lived in Sales at a couple houses. But this was probably like when I was too little to remember. Although so the first house I only know because there's a picture in an album that my mom has. Yeah, and she tells me that's where that house, that house, that's where yeah, t- picture was taken. So there's that house, and then there's another house that I like. I vaguely remember, like I have flashes. It almost seems like a dream. Yeah, but I know we did live there, and I have very, very um, like cloudy memory of living there mm-hmm. because it was actually like the, almost the size of this, the like, room. Yeah, like if you were maybe to the kitchen. Yeah, like this area narrow, more a little more narrow. Oh, okay. Narrower. And then I remember there, like there was a bed, and then like a, a wood stove, wood stove, like the kind you, the big metal ones. I don't know if you ever seen them. Oh yeah. You have to put metal Definitely. in them. Yeah. So one of those, and then the refrigerator, and I think on this side was like the, maybe the dining table, in another room. But it was really small, anyways. I remember there, and I don't know how long we lived there, but I know we lived there for for a little bit. Yeah. And then, and then we, yeah, then we lived at my my grandma's house, my grandpa, my, my grandparents' house, my mom's parents house we lived there until i think i was nine because mm-hmm. it was right around when my brother was born Waylon was born i don't know if i just said Waylon, but anyways my brother Waylon, when he was born that's when my mom got her house new mm-hmm. house in uh little tucson yeah so that's when we moved over there to little tucson mm-hmm. um and then yeah lived there pretty much ever since yeah um yeah till we moved up here mm. um so what what was um what was that like? Living out there? Yeah, like not constantly moving. I don't know. I guess it was okay. I didn't really. I mean, thinking about it now, I don't. I just normal. I guess I don't. I don't think it's that yeah. big of a deal. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't think a lot of people move around that much. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess it's just me. <laughs> I guess so. I'm different. That's what I was going to ask you, too, when when talking about when you grew up in Gaka, I was going to ask you, what is what was that like? Because I know Gaka is very remote, and there's not much to do out there. So what is oh. it that you and your siblings did to entertain yourselves? So you want to jump back to me? No, I'm just asking you a question. Oh, okay. 
Um, I I actually really enjoyed living in Ganka. Welcome. It it was just like the area that we live in, um, or the area of the village that our house was, is like way north of the village, mm. and we kind of have this like surrounding of um, I don't know trees, and there around the trees is like water running. So there's like a, you know, what would you call that? A ditch? Yeah. A wash? I guess. I uh, guess it'd be a wash. A river? <laughs> no, it's not constant water. I don't know. Just say a... Uh, but anyways. Yeah. Something. You know, if... You know what a wash is. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so it, it kind of was like our own island in a way. And so it was quiet back there. Um, There was trees at the time well what it is now at my grandma's house is way different yeah from you know when we were younger yeah we had like a little volleyball thing a basketball thing and some kids from the village they would come over and we'd Mm. play like after school change into (laughs) play clothes (laughs) and then um play until you know the sun went down Mm. And I really enjoyed enjoyed that. It was very quiet back there. See, for us, for us growing up in Artesia, there was a lot of hills. There's a lot of hills around there, right? Right. And so we could always go up and climb those. Or you know, my grandparent, my grandpa had his little um, corral, you know, up in the mountain. Oh yeah. So we could go up there. And one of the big things for us growing up there was that he always had his his hay and stuff right there at the house, and that's where he got his water to water the cattle. So every time he'd come and get water and go to feed them, we would always jump in his truck and ride in the back and go with him up there, help him feed the cows and water. And then the other cool thing was that where where the cows are at, you know, there's those mountains and then like little hills back there too. Oh, yeah. So when he would get done watering them and feeding them, sometimes he would say like, oh, let's go take a walk or you guys mm-hmm. want to go up there or whatever. And he would take us and we'd just go and explore and wander around it was me so growing up was me well there was mainly me damn i'm getting nervous me uh my sister and my cousin and so it was just mainly us that grew up there and there was no really no other kids that i can remember there was um i guess they're my cousins that lived up on the hill in artesia yeah but they were only there i think like i only remember playing with them like maybe like a handful of times maybe i just don't remember i don't know but other than that, we're the only kids in that kind of in that little village. There's only like, like four or five houses there, maybe. Yeah. And I think we <laughs> were the only kids that actually live live there. Um, so growing up there, it was just us. And then when we moved to Little Tucson, it was kind of the same. It was just us three because then my grandma actually had a house built just down the way from us. It was less than a mile. I think it was like a third of a mile, maybe. Yeah. That she lived down the road. And so my cousin was there also. So it was us three again, just kind of all hanging out with each other. Mm-hmm. Sorry. And then across the road there, there lived uh, a couple kids that we played with. Um, but that wasn't until like after a while. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty much just me and Lissa and my cousin, like growing up, playing, yeah. whatever. In the village. I, yeah, I guess in the village. Y'all were in the village. Pretty much. <laughs> MTs. <laughs> Um, okay, so that was that, growing up there. And then, yeah, grew up in Tucson pretty much from then on and to adult. Yeah, and what about school? So uh, I went to primary uh, primary school, primary school there in Sales. Sales. Yep, okay. went to there. And then middle school was at, right there at Bobble. Uh, it was weird because I'm trying to, I was thinking, trying to think, because um, they moved the schools around, the middle school. Mm-hmm. And so now the middle school is right there along 86, right? Oh, yeah. But before it used to be in Tapawa. With, so it would be middle school and the high school there in Tapawa. So on one side was high school and the way at the other end was middle school or was it vice versa. One or the other anyways. Yeah. So we're both there at that school. That was middle school. So I went to middle school there. And then um, my sister and cousin... When they graduated or promoted from eighth grade, they um they went to Hashan up here in Tucson. Yeah. 
and of course, you know, that's who I grew up with. So I was you know, going to most likely follow, you know? Yeah. And I want, like, like you were saying earlier about wanting to be different, wanting to kind of oh, get yeah. a, you know, a more broader yeah. exposure to other people. So I follow them. Mm-hmm. But even Hashan is still predominantly Teals. But then you also had Yaki's and then you also had like other surrounding people, natives, natives or people from Santa Vir that weren't necessarily I mean, yeah they're still teal but you don't really usually see them around there anyways <laughs> so that's kind of why i wanted to go there oh, okay so yeah i went there graduated so all four years Hashan. you went to Hashan yeah, Hashan, yeah okay graduated from there and yeah that's that's, that's the history of me <laughs> <laughs> so we ever suspended from school or did you ever get in into any kind of major troubles yeah yeah. For what do you want to say, or is it not safe to say? I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't. Um, I felt like it was innocent. Mm. Like I didn't intentionally um, cause harm. Why would you do? So, <laughs> I don't even know how to. This is just start this. So. Um, middle school. I would say I was probably in fourth grade, mm-hmm. and I remember. I think it was my grandpa, Thomas. <laughs> so you know those um butterfly knives. Oh yeah, the ones you like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it was an all black one. It was pretty long. Mm. Like this long, and for some reason, I wanted to take it to school, <laughs> <laughs> and so I had it in my backpack at the bus. Yeah, and I remember one of these older girls were sitting sitting next to me on the bus. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Hey, you want to see something?" <laughs> So I got my backpack and I took it out. Yeah. And I was showing her, and then I was showing her all these cool tricks I could do with it. Yeah. And so you know, Thomas, he showed me my my grandpa Thomas, he showed me like how to like unclip it and then unflip it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah. But if you know what a butterfly knife is, and you know. Um, and so I I remember I was showing her and apparently some other kid saw that I had it and that I was doing those tricks. Yeah. And so, um, I didn't even like make it to school. I made it on the bus and the kid saw, told the driver and. Little snitch. Yeah. Little snitches. <laughs> And so we got to the school, but he was like, hey, Rolanda, stay right there on the bus. I mean, at your seat. Mm. So me, I was like already paranoid, paranoid, paranoid. And like, oh, my God, I'm I'm going to be in so much trouble. Yeah. So he was like, where is it at? <laughs> like everyone got off the bus and he came up to me. He was like, where is it at? Yeah. And I was like, where's what? <laughs> the weeds. Like trying to lie. <laughs> I was like so scared, and um, and then prior to that, like before he walked up, because I knew like what he was coming over here for. Mm-hmm. There was this. Oh, shit. What does that say? Hold on, did the battery die? I think the battery just died. Hold on, intermission. No, don't pause it. Just let it play. Okay, quick interruption. Um, just some technical, not difficulties, but technical interruptions. Um, so I was saying that on the bus, you know how like you're in in the bus and the seat in in front of you. What? Really? How much you can film? Battery. 
Okay. Blackness. Sorry, I, I think the. I don't know what happened with the camera. I think it has a timer on recording. Maybe I need to change it, but it, it stopped recording. But the battery is still good. So, anyways, go ahead. Keep going, Thomas. <laughs> um, but there was this um slit in in the front of the seat, you know. So this is the back of the seat at the seat in front of us, and there's a slit in the seat. So I already knew I was gonna be in trouble. So I put the knife in that slit mm-hmm. and I dropped it down. Mm-hmm. And so he asked me, where is it? And I said, where's what? Like, being all yeah. clueless. And so he took me to the principal's office. And they tried to, like, search my bags and my pockets and whatnot. And so he went back to the bus and he was, like, in there. And he found it. <laughs> 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 me, the little fourth grader, think I'm all outsmarting uh, now. Um... So I was like in the office and he was like giving me this speech about like how I could harm someone. I mean, it, I wasn't even thinking about that or anything yeah. like I'm going to hurt someone or hurt myself or whatever. Yeah. I was just like, this is cool. Let me show you. <sighs> so, yeah, I got I got suspended. And I was like grounded for a month by my dad. How long did you get suspended for? Probably a week. Oh, jeez. I know. Crazy. Yeah. That's dumb. It was. <laughs> Is that it? Um, I believe so. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I. You're pretty good in school. No. <laughs> oh. I just never got caught. Oh, I see. Yeah. How about you? Did you ever get suspended from school? No, I don't think so. No? I don't think so. I've gotten in trouble, like, written up and, like, I think I got sent home once. Did I get suspended? I know there was one moment in fifth grade or sixth grade. Yeah. Where I got in trouble kind of bad, but I don't think I got suspended. Oh, I see. I think it was just one of those, you were a part of the group. Mm. but didn't do nothing you were just there but you didn't do nothing to stop whatever was going on why is somebody gonna fight yeah and so i think was it your friends yeah well i guess uh, you know when you're dumb you have you choose sometimes the wrong friends so it's one of those deals yeah so well tell us what's the story are you too (laughs) cops were involved that's the only reason why i don't want to say Oh my god! But that's the only reason I want to say it, talk about it. I'm pretty sure it's. I mean, it's been a long time ago, but still, I, you know, I just don't want to say. Oh, yeah, I'm scared. But anyway, so that was then. But I don't think I got suspended. I think I just got talked to in the the office, and then, um, oh, I think what saved me was that the guy that I guess the victim kind of cleared my name and said he didn't do nothing. I guess in the sense that he was there, but he, he like he wasn't a part of it. Like he didn't do whatever happened. Yeah. But he was there, but he didn't do nothing. Oh, I see. So I think that's kind of what got me off the hook. Yeah. But did you get in trouble by I, your parents? Hell yeah, I did. I remember. <laughs> so I remember. That I think I got sent home, or I, I either I got sent home, or I went. I was. I went home anyways, and I knew I was gonna get in trouble, like a lot of trouble. And I think my dad was going to be coming oh, dang it all right hold on uh-huh. intermission where, where were we um you knew you were going oh home. yeah so i knew my dad was coming gonna be coming home yeah and it was like he's been coming home early i forgot why i think he i don't know why he was gonna come early but i remember that so what i did was i got home and i took off to my grandma's right away just to go over there <laughs> to hang out yeah because i didn't want to be home when he got home yeah Wait, they, so did they call him and tell him? No, they called my mom, but oh. my mom told my dad yeah. almost everything that happens. So, um, yeah, I remember, and he came and got me, and... Oh, my God. I think he took me, like, you know, for a ride, and yeah. we, we talked about it, and I still got in trouble, but we talked about it and, and went over everything, and... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. But I remember him saying, like, you thought you were going to be able to get away cause, just because you're going over there, and... 
<laughs> but yeah, that there was that, and then kind of the same stupid thing like you. Um, I remember in high school, I was in uh, a class. I think it was like a you know those classes where you get to do your work, like extra, I mean not extra work, work that you need to get caught up on. Yeah, it's kind of like a free class to whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I remember I went to the restroom, and the so I went to the restroom, and I came back, and the lady that was in there, she was just like a sub. She was just kind of sitting in for the original teacher, mm-hmm. and she um. Like she looked at me, I sat down, and she looked at me again, and then she's like, "Come here." And uh, so I went to go see her. She's like, "Why are your eyes red?" I'm like, "What do you mean? Why are you?" Well, she's like, "Well, why are your eyes red?" I was yeah. Like, I don't know. I, maybe I'm tired. I don't. I don't know. Why my eyes? Are, I can't tell my eyes are red. And she's like, "What were we doing in the restroom?" And we went to the restroom, <laughs> and she's like, "All right, I'm gonna send you to the principal's office." I'm like, "Why?" And she's like, "Cause your eyes are red." I yeah. don't know why your eyes are red. Like, anyway, so I got sent to the to the office. And I remember it was, a, I think they're administrator and assistant. Anyways, the two, they're not principals, but they're called something else. But they like principals. Anyways, they sat me down on the table and they went over like, they're asking me why I was there. And I told them, she said my eyes were red. That's why she sent me over here. And I remember I had my bag and she, and they were like, um, for, they said, we're going to search your bag. So mm-hmm. I was like, all right, go ahead. Cause I got nothing to hide. And then the guy, like he stopped and he said, you know what? I'm going to let you. <laughs> I don't know why. He's like, I'm gonna let you s- search your bag and take out anything that you think we need to know about. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and I remember, like, I just like took all everything out of there and I, you know, dumped it out and shook it. And I was like, there's nothing here. And yeah. they kind of just kind of like just kind of skimmed it and like, okay, we'll go ahead, put it back and oh go God. back to class. You should have said you put it back. I, I don't. Know. I wasn't that kind of kid. Oh. But anyways, <laughs> so I went back to class and of course the lady looked at me like, what the hell are you doing here? And and when she looked, she didn't say that, but she looked at me like, "Oh, I thought you were gonna get in trouble," type deal. Anyways, mm-hmm. but so here's the thing. So in my bag, you know how they have those pencil deals, the little pencil slots. Yeah. And I remember I had, I don't know why. I think my friend told me to hold it, or I had it. I don't remember why, but I had. I don't know if you remember if if you ever seen the little prime time packets. They mm-hmm. almost look like a like a little plastic tube. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So okay. I had one of those in there with the with the prime time in there. Oh my god. And I had it slit. In the, the pencil, pencil slot. slot. Luckily, when I, you know, shook over my bag and, you know, it stayed in there and it didn't come out. But I didn't realize <laughs> it till I got home and I was like, oh, shit. Good oh thing this God. thing didn't fall out. Yeah. So that was then. And the other time was like, it's, it wasn't a fight, but it was like a e- exchange with another person. And, but that one I was just talked to and that was it. Mm, yeah. I see. No suspensions, I don't think. Well, that's good. Yeah, that is good. You're pretty good. I guess. That's good. But I feel like, like in, um, in primary, I, even though it's primary, I feel like I, I've got in a lot of trouble then. But because my mom worked at the school. I'm trying to tell a story here. No, but because my mom worked at the school, she, that kind of kept me in line. Because every time like, I acted out or anything, they would always call her and tell her. And then she would just walk down the way and get mad at me about whatever. And she actually had me moved in second grade to a different class because i was getting in too much trouble with the little group that i was part of oh my god yeah really Mm -hmm. but when did you see them like at recess yeah but i guess it was more so not oh in the classroom in the classroom yeah Mm. so yeah oh i see interesting Mm -hmm. (laughs) that's me so were you like the times you were in trouble were you in trouble like more with your mom or your dad or was it pretty even um oh uh, i would say about my dad I, I i feel like i feel like my mom would get mad at me more but i f- i seemed like it was more w- it was a lot worse for me to how can I say? Disappoint my dad, I guess you can say. Because mm-hmm. he would, you could tell, like, you know, he's disappointed that I did whatever. And that yeah. seemed more. Um, like worse as worse a punishment? than getting in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of why it seemed, that's kind of why it seemed for me to be in more in trouble with my dad than with my mom. Because I just didn't want to, you know. Yeah. Like disappoint Disappoint him. him yeah. yeah. What about you? Um. Well, what about you? Well, what? 
Um, I was always in trouble by my dad. Mm. Just because, you know, yeah. my my mom wasn't really around. Yeah. It was me, my dad, brother, sister. And so he was the the punisher. So <laughs> so going back to when um you said that you have family from Delcon, right? Yeah. And your dad's T.O. from Gatka. Mm-hmm. So for me, I actually have family. So if, so, so if you were to trace it back to oh. the next, you would still be. You know, I forgot to ask. What is your. Yeah, so it's going to go right now. So okay. for me, I have family. So I have my family. Well, of course, family comes from T.O. Next would be, I guess, percentage wise. Next would be uh, my family that comes. My dad's family that comes from. Fort Defiance because he's part Navajo. Mm-hmm. And then my mom, my mom's mom, so my grandmother, she has family from Tewa, Hopi, Tewa, not Hopi, but Tewa. Yeah. And then um, San Carlos Apache. Mm-hmm. And then I guess if you want to go further, my gra- I think my grandpa, so my, my mom's dad has family from that are Yaki, but you kind of have to think you have to kind of go back. A couple of generations, I think, mm-hmm. or maybe just a little bit, uh, and then there's the Yaki line of affiliation there. I see. So if you want to break it down, I guess <laughs> you could say I'm half Tio, quarter Navajo, and then whatever the rest <laughs> divided by <laughs> divided by the rest is. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I know. So I know, like, of course, I know that all my grandmothers and people up in Tewa. I don't like. I don't know them. I've been around them a lot. Yeah enough i guess to say i know them and then san carlos i don't know anybody from there but my grandpa my great grandpa's from there and then same thing with fort defiance i don't really know anybody from there Mm -hmm. but that's where my dad that's where my dad's dad's from so my dad's dad's navo my dad's mom was uh teal oh i see so would you like more identify as teal of course teal and tewa no teal predominantly teal hmm I just say, like, I know my family from Tewa a lot more than any other. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I mean, I wish I knew more. Yeah. I mean, because, uh, like, my dad's family, I met them, like, a handful of times, and I I probably can't name any of them. Maybe, like, a couple, but, yeah. Mm. Like, I wish I did, but it's just oh, yeah. the way things things were. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get that. See, that's what we should have did, though. <gasps> You could. No, I think it's too late. Yeah. Um, what else is there? See, this is what I want, didn't want to get to. When we talk too long, we run out of what to talk about. This is one. So we're sitting at what, like forty-five minutes now? It just came to a halt. I don't. It just came know to a big halt. All of a sudden, forty-six. I think that's good. That's good to me. So that's the story of Wayne and Rolanda. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a little story of our very little. Yeah, it is. Like growing up, I, I've uh, growing up was good. You know, I feel like I had a pretty good childhood. Childhood. Yeah, me too. I mean, I think it's pretty normal. I guess. For you. Yeah. Do you feel it's like normal to like as the. Uh, how do you say, como say, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, but like, the, is it the standard, like as a native kid growing up? Like, would you say that that's normal? I don't, well, now don't come after me when I say this or anybody get offended. If you get offended, I'm sorry, but... I feel like maybe if my dad wasn't a part of my life as much as he was mm-hmm. and then growing up with both of my parents, yeah, I think that's, I think I f- feel like not all Native kids grew up with both parents. Some right. do, and I'm not you know saying that none do, but I feel like a good percentage of them don't grow up with both right. parents. Right. So that, I think I'm, that's I, what I was asking. Yeah, so I think I'm fortunate enough or i think all three of them you know my siblings are fortunate enough to at least have both of them you know there was some 
breaks, I guess, here and there. Yeah. But, I mean, I think we had them you know, both in our lives a good amount of time. Yeah. When we needed them. And even now, as adults, we have both of them. And I think that's I think that's something that mm, a lot of people can't say. Maybe, again, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend <laughs> nobody or anything like that. I'm just yeah. you know, voicing my opinion. That's kind of how this thing, I guess, podcast is going to be. Just voicing our opinions, giving our thoughts about things. and Yeah, nobody take it any, any offense. offense. We're not, I mean, we don't expect anybody to agree with us on a lot of things. So... We may not even agree with each other. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of things that we don't agree with <laughs> a lot. So. That's why we don't get political. That's why we don't, you know, talk about a lot of stuff. Well, we're getting there. I guess. We'll see. We might even fight on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, going back to how, you know, you, you have both of your parents. That's something that I, that I admire. Yeah. About you growing up and then you know when we go go over to your parents house yeah that i mean that's something that i in a way wish i had Mm. yeah so so now that you're growing up do you recognize different traits in yourself that come from your mom and your dad definitely like what like give me one example that that your mom does or did that you do i feel like it's kind of toxic oh and (laughs) (laughs) truly put it out there truly we're we're just going there okay go ahead then okay so (laughs) you don't have to get them into okay something that's like a toxic trait yeah because i don't i don't know i don't like wanting yeah we don't have to but just just something bad i guess like a bad trait you would say (laughs) A bad trait um, that I that my mom used to do mm. and that I see in myself okay. is like shutting people out, oh. shutting my partner out. Oh, you, you know? shut me out. Yeah, so, I mean, like if I, I'm working on yeah, it. I don't even realize. But, you know, at I feel like at the beginning of our relationship. Oh. Um. I'll say right now, shut me out. Tomorrow, shut me out all weekends. So I can go golf. <laughs> shut me out for four hours every every weekend. <laughs> every I can weekend. Go golf. No, but at the beginning of our oh. relationship, I didn't. I didn't notice. Like, I don't think I did. No, you no, didn't. Yeah. So. And um, and it's been hard for me to, like, stop myself from doing that. Mm. And I feel like I don't shut you out. Like now, I don't. Like I said, I, I don't notice. I've never noticed any being shut out in any kind of way. So yeah, and and that's what I've um, you know noticed from me because I I would see my mom do yeah. that. Okay, uh, what about your dad? <laughs> Scary. I know. I keep checking to make sure it's still recording. My dad, I feel like you know primarily I I grew up with him. So what's one thing? So you could say you're all of all of him. Pretty much. All of him. You know how my dad is like a person to help As everyone. one is a person. <laughs> as one is. <laughs> as one does. Um, but like how he's helping everyone and oh, yeah. how he's doing, try to do everything at once. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah. And my dad is like, I feel like he doesn't re- ask for help. But then like a lot of people ask him. Like, hey, can you do this? Mm. Or, oh, let's just have your dad do it. And mm. he, like, does it. And do I do that to you? What? Oh, she can just, she can do it. Just do it. Yeah, when it's cooking, you know, oh, but Linda could do it. <laughs> Shit, right. <laughs> Never do I ever do I that. I know, I'm just kidding. The I'm first kidding. thing I ask when I get home is what? No, not to What do you to, need help with? Not to me. Oh. You're saying to other people. Oh, okay. But I'm joking. Oh, better yeah. me. <laughs> but um yeah, that that's something that I see in myself from both my parents. And it's kind of weird like not to throw shade on my mom, but like I don't see any good traits. Oh, I see. That I saw in her that I see in me. Mm, okay. As bad it is to say, but okay, yeah. But how about you? <laughs> how about you? <laughs> your mom, your dad. 
Uh, oh, I want to ask. What? Do you see any traits in my parents like that? They do that. <laughs> so, like, your mom says, I think it's like, Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Yeah, and you <laughs> say that every now and then. There's that. And then your dad. I don't think that's a trait, though. I mean, it's something I say. I don't think I can think of. Yeah. Um, and your dad, I don't know. Let me think of Walton. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's not like some. I guess it's 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 another thing. Like you guys do. You guys talk very low sometimes. Oh yeah. Or you're trying to say something, and then I'm like, "What did you say?" Yeah. Just because you guys talk low, or you don't talk, like, I guess directly pronounced. Yeah, or directly and and like to to say you're talking to me. You like to talk. Away from you. Allow. I mean, you like to talk loud and expect me to say, okay, she's talking to me. Whatever she's saying, she's talking to me. Yeah. I guess <laughs> is something that I can think of. I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, me? Mm. <sighs> I don't know. I, I, f- I know I have a, like a very good amount, 50-50 from both parents yeah um, but i can't pinpoint like what exactly it is mm-hmm. uh, i guess one thing again going back to talking just because it's something that i noticed so like me and my mom are quiet like if if we're in a room with people we're usually the quiet ones we don't talk we don't say anything we just kind of listen and let everybody else talk yeah that's something that me and her share because like we could be sitting in the living room at, at her house and not talk and we'd be fine yeah we'd be okay with it and that's one thing we share um uh i don't know she's very understanding i guess and i think i can be yeah when i want she's also um patient yeah that's true and i guess you can see that with eliana yeah um and then my dad hmm (laughs) i feel like he i don't want to say he raised me but i feel like he instilled a lot of my work ethic oh yeah in me or a lot of my views on a lot of stuff Mm -hmm. just because for a long time there i was mainly with him like every weekend every summer we'd be out working cattle and stuff and we spent a lot of time together yeah and not only not only that we just come to tucson to take care of stuff or do things yeah so i feel like a lot of who i am as i'm like like, again it's 50 50 but I, i feel like if there is a little bit of sliver to lean towards m- more of my dad i feel like I, that's kind of one thing because work that work ethic is something that i think that he kind of instilled in me to make sure that i'm always yeah working always you know oh definitely. there always on time always whatever which yeah. is funny because you know now. my family yeah like <laughs> now the martins are no well not not me but you know like the martin the other martins the martin brothers and sisters me and my dad my aunties uncle well not uncles but we're, they're always late yeah and so that's so maybe not the time part but it's just i mean it's just funny to think about it is because he like he would always make sure i mean he always had me make sure i was on time like when we go get work on cattle yeah uh there was a time there where i was the first one up and he would make sure that didn't tell me that to get up get the horses ready get everything ready at a certain time and then then go wake him up mm-hmm. so i would i would make sure every time every morning that i get up at the right time to make sure i have all that done and then then we can go yeah and i would always try to make sure i stick at the time so i think that's probably why i'm so on so time like, yeah anal about time yeah it's because are. of that so, oh my god yeah so that's what i feel that's cool yeah. that's cool <sighs> are we gonna end it here i think this is a good um yeah. <laughs> a good time to yeah, end I feel it like it's a good time to end it uh i know we didn't maybe it's it's kind of all over the place again this is our very first episode we will get better um i kind of i kind of like i mean we're still kind of staying on topic but like getting a little off the tracks you know i kind of like that i just don't like the uh like the pauses we're like um yeah (laughs) like that i don't like but i i know we can we'll work on it we'll get it down we're getting there and we're getting this again this is our first one actually trying to um talk about whatever for a while so um 
We hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you do. Let us know. Our next episode, I don't know, is going to go up probably. So the thing is, we're doing this, or going to try every um, Friday. You know, a kind of end of the week thing. Yeah. And so I think we might upload this on Monday. Sunday. Oh, Monday. It should be up Monday morning, I think. Yeah. But um, you know, listen it, listen to it on your way to work. <laughs> <laughs> I wish when you we'll get there eventually. When you leave um, Tucson or wherever you're from, if it takes like an hour, an hour, just yeah. listen to it. Listen to the soothing sound voices of Wayne. Well, my voice is soothing. Yeah. I told you this last time. (laughs) And then uh, in the comments, let us know um, anything that we talked about that you can relate to growing up. um, Maybe you went to the same school as us. Maybe you had the same experiences, similar. Um, Any opinions that you have on what we talked about? Again, we're not going to disagree with you. We're going to, you know, sit there and see what you got to say and maybe respond. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, it's just kind of open. Maybe you didn't agree with us. Maybe, you, I don't know, you, what's the word? Not related with us, yeah? Related? No. Related? Yeah. W- what are you trying to say? Yeah? Related? Yeah. Maybe you're related. Yeah. Maybe you are related to us. I don't know. Let <laughs> us <laughs> know down in the comments. Um, and then just maybe leave some some comments about uh, what you want to see us give our opinions on, uh, what you want to have us talk about. Um Again, yeah. we, we kind of have our own agenda in a way. Yeah, but, you know, if you have any um, suggestions, topics, yeah, I think let us know. One of the things is if we're, we kind of want to include you guys or whoever watches this, the few of you or <laughs> all of you, um, <laughs> just kind of include you guys and talk about you know, what maybe you want to talk about something. Maybe there's something that you feel needs more attention to, like going on, I don't know, in the world the res, your res, um, not doesn't have to be particularly the Thon Autumn reservation. It could be any reservation. Um, and let us know. And, and if it's something that you want heard or said, then shoot, maybe we can have you call in and talk about it. I mean, we have that ability to do that. Call us. We'll put you on the thing here and we can they can hear you um, talk and, and whatnot. So if there's yeah. anything, let us know. We're open to that. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I would say this, um, let's wrap it up. <laughs> we will wrap it up. <laughs> we don't need no no, no more kids. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, yeah, thank you first for watching. One, first of many, and we'll get better. If you lasted the whole hour, thank you very much. I know. Appreciate it. If you made it this far, you deserve a Amazon gift card. Oh, yeah, we're thinking of giving a giveaway. So oh, that's the other thing we're gonna mention now. Nah. Oh, why? Well, yeah. Go ahead. Well, we're just thinking about doing like a little giveaway when we hit a hundred. A hundred subscribers. <laughs> subscribers, a hundred likes, a hundred comments, one or the other. Um, we'll do a giveaway of some sort. Yeah. So just stay tuned, and you know, we'll see you in the future. Yep. So thank you for watching. Thank, thank you for you listening. For watching. I hope we didn't bore you. I hope you stayed it through the end. If not. At least thank you for trying to listen. Yeah, have a good and safe weekend. Oh yeah, have a good weekend. Be safe. Yeah.